Okay, doing a real quick uh, unboxing. Well, it's already been unboxed, um, but just a quick first impressions of the IQ Pro One single pin adjustable bow sight. And I picked it up on eBay for 70 bucks. And my my first impressions are it, it appears to be just really, really well built. Um, this is all aluminum. It's got, looks like it has plenty enough adjustability. I, on my regular bow or on my primary bow, I shoot a HHA XL and um, adjustable and I got a Bowtech Liberty, what is it, VTX, I think it is, um, from somebody for free. And um, I just want to set it up as a second bow. And I didn't see any reviews, obviously, online. That little white spot was just some, I don't know what it was, but um, it comes with uh, plenty of Allen wrenches. Um, these are the mounting screws here. I'm not sure what these two are for. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but it's got a ton of adjustability. Now I'm gonna see if I can put the phone in between my legs here quick and show you how this thing works. So um, you turn this and you can see the pin goes up and down. There's a marker here and maybe you could write your distance on that. I would put it over here. I mean, then you can just go put that to your 20 or your 30 or your 40. And I mean, most people aren't shooting out further than that. Um, but it looks like you might be able to write them here too. I'm not sure how you'd even see that. You'd have to turn the bow to the side, I guess. Um, and honestly, I just noticed that. But uh, these come undone and you have your micro adjustment here where you can move it back and forth. Um, same thing here, up and down. I don't th see a third axis. Maybe there probably isn't one on this. But for 70 bucks, for an adjustable site, you can kind of see the IQ. Let me see if I can get that to even come in. Uh, let's go that way, let's go down, there it is. So hopefully you can see that on the screen. And then you have your level. So apparently like you should be able to shoot this right or dial it in. Ah, there it is. And then you make it level. So let's get a level first. And then let's find, there it is. Well, there it is. So you get those two things, your level here and your IQ and you shoot it. I haven't tested the brightness. It's getting close to sunset here, but um, I don't know, hopefully it gives you an idea if you're thinking about buying it. Um, more than what I had, I just kind of bought it because I didn't see this. This knob here to turn it is tough. It is tightened down. I don't know if you can loosen that at all. You might be able to. Um, and I don't know if you're cold and you have gloves on uh, how much trouble that would be. I mean, most of your bow shots are going to be in between 20 and 30 anyways. So that would be that type of adjustment. I mean, I've shot two deer this year already and they're both at 20 yards. So I didn't even have to move my, my sight at all. But um, comments, go ahead. Uh, I'm happy. I'm going to throw it on the bow really quick and um, I'll show you what it looks like there. Oh, and here are the directions I came in the box. Uh, I'm gonna read this a little bit to see. Oh, retina lock adjustment. So I didn't even know that could be adjusted. Sight tapes, it looks like they can be both on both sides. Cool, it came with no tapes, just saying. Maybe they do and I don't see them here. Um, I'm just gonna write on it, maybe in I'm not sure. So I'll go through this, mount it on, and we'll see what's up.